Welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Today we're going to do a fast recipe that's shrimp cakes and we're going to do the sauce. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. Now I'm going to put this together but because it's warm here I'm going to be serving this with a cold pasta salad. The recipe for the pasta salad is already online. All you have to do is do a search on my channel. I will show you how the rest how the actual pasta salad looks at the end but right now we're going to go ahead and do the ingredients for the shrimp cakes you're going to need of course shrimp now I've already started to chop my shrimp up so that's why you only see a small amount here you're going to need mozzarella cheese salt and pepper fresh parsley flour eggs you'll probably only need one I'm going to need two because I'm making a large amount lemon mayo and garlic now before and this is minced garlic before I get started I'm gonna go ahead and make up the sauce for the shrimp cakes and it's real real easy here I have a cup of mayo to the cup of mayo I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of lemon zest and I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice now instead of using minced garlic you can use minced garlic if you like I'm going to use the juices from the minced garlic and that's going to be about a tablespoon full of the juices with a little bit of the garlic that kind of fell in but that's okay okay that's all you need to make the sauce. Now I'm making up the sauce down because I want to go ahead and refrigerate it. So you're going to blend this up well. And once you get your ingredients all blended up, you're just going to refrigerate it until you get your patties ready. So I'm going to cover this with a piece of plastic, put it in the refrigerator, and then I'll serve it when I get ready to serve the shrimp cakes. Now that that's done, I'm going to show you about the shrimp. What you want to do with your shrimp, and all you're going to need is one pound of shrimp, and I have one pound of the medium shrimp. So you're just going to take your shrimp and you're going to dice it. Okay, that's all you're going to do. And you're going to do all of them the same way. You're going to dice it up and put it in a bowl. Show you again. So to dice, you just, if you take your two, it, it, it comes, you know, kind of half circle. So if you take it, just squeeze it together. You can do both at one time. Okay. That's all you're going to do. So I'm going to go away, finish uh, cutting up or dicing up my shrimp. And when I get through, I'll bring you back and show you how to put the mix together. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I got all of my shrimp diced up. And here's what my shrimp look like. Not going to get a whole lot of them. It looks like I may have about a cup and a half, maybe two cups. I doubt it though. And this was with a, I had two medium bags of shrimp. So to that you're going to go ahead and add one cup of mozzarella cheese. You're going to add two tablespoons of fresh, you want to use fresh parsley. You're going to chop that up. You're going to add one egg and about two tablespoons of mayo. Now, I'm going to stir that just a little bit. Now, you know that that egg in there is your binding agent, and I will probably use two eggs in mine because I do have, you know, a little bit more shrimp than you would probably use. But I'll put your recipe at the bottom because you're only going to be using one. We're going to salt and pepper to taste. 
And I, you know, I want to, I want to bring this up. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this parsley because it's only a small amount that I have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. I want to, um, bring this up. A lot of people, when I make shrimp dishes, they don't seem to feel that I'm cooking the shrimp long enough. It's not a lot of people, but it's a few. And shrimp only takes five minutes to cook. That's not something that you want to cook until it's rubbery or until all of the flavor is gone. You only want to use your five, six minutes, and that's it. Now, once you've added all of your ingredients, your eggs act as a binding agent, then you're going to add to that your flour. And in this case, I'm going to add maybe, and I'm eyeballing this, so I'm going to do maybe about three tablespoons of flour. And if it looks like you don't have enough, that doesn't look like I have enough, so I'm going to go ahead and add the rest. I had five tablespoons in that little cup. But then again, I'm using more shrimp than you would probably use. Okay, now, once you fry this up, it's only going to take you a few minutes to fry this up. And what you're going to, and you can use any type of oil that you want to. I'm going to use uh, vegetable oil when I fry mine up. But what's going to hold it together is going to be that egg and that flour. That's going to hold it together. So don't skip those two ingredients. You're going to need them. As well as that cheese. You know that cheese is, cheese is going to help to bind it as well. Okay. This is what it should look like. And I'll meet you at the stove. Be right back. All right. Now I'm at the stove. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the skillet. And I don't feel that my heat is high enough. So I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Now, I'm using, the reason why I'm using this ice cream scoop is because I want to make certain that they are all pretty much the same size, size, so I don't want to over add, but you can just use a spoon or anything that you had that you want to just put it in with. As you can see, I was able to get four into the skillet. So I'm going to give this a couple of minutes to fry up. And then I'm going to flip them and fry them on the other side. Now, this is a simple uh, meal to make. And if you like shrimp, you're definitely going to enjoy this. And this is what we're having. You know, today is hot outside. So this is what we're having. Not a lot of prep time. And it's not a lot to prepare it. But if you're a lover of shrimp, you would really, truly love this. So I'm going to give this about, I don't know, a couple of minutes on this side. Then I'm going to flip it. And, and again, I tell you. Shrimp does not take that long to cook. There's nothing in this patty that takes a long time to cook. You have the shrimp, you have the flour, the egg, and the cheese. None of those items take a long time to cook. So don't be prepared to stay at the stove for like 30, 40 minutes thinking that it's going to take that long to cook. No, it's not. It's going to take a short period of time. We're going to cook this until it browns on the bottom, flip it, and we're going to cook it and brown it on that side. Give me about a minute, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, now I'm back. It's only been about a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and flip these. Okay, so I'm going to allow it to cook on that side the same amount of time, 
and I'll bring you back when I get ready to take them out. As you can see, they're frying up well. Didn't take a long time in order to crust stuff, and it doesn't take a long time to fry up. If you feel like you may be frying them too fast, you can always lower your heat if you want to get a little bit more cooking time in your shrimp, but you don't need that much. You don't want your shrimp to be rubbery. You want to get a good meaty taste of shrimp, and you want it to be tasting like shrimp and not tasting like rubber. So we'll finish this and I'll be right back when I get ready to take them out. Okay, right. now they've fried up enough on both sides. It's been about two, two and a half minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. I have a plate with a paper towel sitting back here. And what I wanna do now is I wanna drain them with that paper towel. If you use a non-stick skillet, it may be a little bit easier for you to get this done as opposed to using a stick skillet. But either way you do it, they should be fine. As long as you have the ingredients that you need to bind it together, the shrimp won't be coming out and falling all over every place. You'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add four more of the patties. Now I've shown you this simple step on how this is done. Real simple, real easy, real quick. So I'm going to fry up the rest of these. And I, when I get them all fried up, I'll bring it back and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. Don't fry it too fast. Let it take its normal course and you'll be fine be right back okay we're back and I'm done with the shrimp cakes and that's how they came out that's the way it should look and this is the dipping sauce for the shrimp cakes now I told you that I was going to have a pasta salad on the side and this recipe is online so all you have to do is check in order to get that recipe I think that this is a nice way to end a hot summer's day I'm gonna see if I can break one of these open even though it's look at that still warm still hot very hot and then you just dip it there it is okay that's what Chris is having today I'm having shrimp cakes with dipping sauce sauce and a pasta salad and we're going to serve French bread with it. So, I think that if you try this, you're really going to enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye.